Hey guys, today I want to talk about massage and back issues in the Philippines. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because I notice a lot of the guys over here, we all have back issues. And my back issues have been pretty bad this past week for, for a lot of different reasons. Um, it, and it's not going away anytime soon. When I'm out walking though, you know, that's, I don't know if it's because the, the blood's flowing or whatever, but I'm going to tell you this, my back feels a lot better when I'm walking. As soon as I get back home, my back starts spasming, um, it starts running down my legs. I can start feeling it, um, usually within two to three hours. I do get a slight break. Um, this morning I took, I took my tramadol, um, I took my acetaminophen. Um, not good for you. It's not good for your kidneys, it's not good for your liver. And I, I do get a little bit worried about my kidneys and my liver because of the amount of medications I take. I take, um, and that's kind of can be kind of bothersome sometimes. It can, it can, it's kind of scary, you know. Because over here, you don't want to go on kidney dialysis over here because it's gets number one, it's expensive. Number two, insurance will kill you because most insurances over here don't cover kidney dialysis. Be aware of that. So you do not want to get caught over here having kidney issues don't come okay but I want to get into massages today because massages are, are, are where it's at in the Philippines it's a one of the, the greatest little um, joys of the Philippines is going to get a good massage chilling and relaxing and getting a good back rub your legs rubbed your neck your head your scalp you know and just laying there and having a nice hour hour and a half massage and walking out and feeling better. Now, I go to, I went to get a massage the other day, and I love my massage. Okay, uh, I, the first massage that I got was phenomenal, and the second one I got this girl. She was kind of bony, and she didn't give a good massage. Um, I was actually kind of unhappy with the massage. I didn't want to tell her that, but I will never use her again. Um, she was using her elbows and her arms to massage me, um, and it was all bone. She had no, no flesh on her at all because she was all bone. And she's crawling up on my back, and it felt like I had, you know, like like somebody pressing a finger in the back on both sides because she had her knees in my back. Um, but that's that's a rarity that you usually get a bad massage here. Okay, um, if you're getting a bad massage, just tell her to stop, and you want somebody different. Don't put up with it. Um, next time, I'm not going to put up with it. You know, I just decided that I'm going to ask for the same girl that I like there that gives me massages all the time and gives me a good massage. Um, be careful, you know, because, you know, you don't want to upset the people there either. But just um, say, kindly say to them, say, listen, I don't like the way you're giving a massage. Could I have somebody else give me a massage, please? And nothing against you. And still give the lady a tip and, you know, be kind about it. Um, don't make a big scene about it. just say I, I just think you give two your massage is not that good I want to I want to have a different person please and they say well, well why sir I say please I just want to have a different person okay and then just leave it at that you know be kind about it uh, you don't want to get the poor girl fired or something like that you know because maybe it's just you you know maybe your your muscles are a little bit tense that day or whatever and you know that could be part of it you know never always blame the person unless you know for sure you know, just be careful because you're in the Philippines. You don't want to piss people off here. You want to be able to go back to that place and get a massage or what have you. Always be kind in the Philippines. You know, always be kind. I, you know, I try to be kind to people all the time. Some people you can't be kind to, unfortunately. Um, you just got to, you know, stay away from them or whatever. The people, those, those people, and just don't, don't, even, don't even go near them, you know. Um, you know, my back issues here have been pretty bad and, and a lot of the other guys here have been complaining about their backs recently, some of the guys that are in, the, in our group and a couple of other people that I know also have been talking to me about um, issues with their backs. So I was telling them, I says, get out and walk because you know why? Number one, it's gonna bring you, I've talked about this before, brings your blood pressure down. Um, number two, it's gonna help you back. It's gonna help your legs, it's gonna help with blood flow, it's gonna help all that. You gotta get out and walk, you know? And if, if you can release that pressure on your sciatic nerves and stuff like that by walking, it's gonna help you, you know? And it might be short term, it might be long term. But one of the greatest things about out here walking is the fact that it's almost kinda of like a massage for your back. 
it's, it, it relieves that tension. Um, it relieves high blood pressure. It relieves a lot of things, and it helps you lose weight. It helps you with your cholesterol. It helps you with a lot of things. It's just, it's good to do. It's good to be out walking all the time. It's healthy. It's, it's one of the things you want to you wanna try to do every day. I know a lot of people have been writing back to me telling me, hey, Steve, I like the little thing that you did about walking. You know, and they said that they do 10,000 to 20,000 steps a day. That's phenomenal if you can do it. Um, I used to try to do 10,000 steps a day. I had to kind of cut back. Um, I just I didn't have the time to do it. Um, expats, you know, they keep me busy. And the channel keeps me busy because we had to go pick people up at the airport. Um, we help people take them to the hospital or whatever. Um, we go to the VA with some guys. Um, we do all, all kinds of stuff helping people, you know, and we're going to always be doing that. And sometimes we have people that throw a wrench in the engine sometimes to try to uh, stop that. And I'm not sure why they do it because we, we always get some, well, the way to put it is a dickhead, you know. There's always some dickhead out there that tries to cause problems for you. And we work around it. We get around it. You know, we cause no harm to people. We just do what we do. But there's always somebody out there that's either jealous or whatever that they try to wreck it for you. But I want to get back to this here. You know, don't ever, ever think that you always have to put up with your back problems. I know there's people out there with severe, severe, severe back issues and some of them can't go out walking. But I, you may want to talk to your doctor about this and see if walking is going to help you. And if walking is going to help you, get out there and do it. Do it. And get out there and get a massage. Those massages are going to help your back. You know, I had somebody write to me the other day and told me that he went for 30 massages. 30 massages he went for, okay? And he told me, he said, at the end of that 30 massages, my back issues were gone. He says once a month he would go in then to kind of get a tune-up. And he says since then, he's had no more back issues. He's, he, his back issues are pretty much gone. And when I heard that, I was like, that's nice. You know, but I don't think I can go out for 30 massages because I don't have the physical time to do it. You know, I wish I could. I, I'm lucky I can go in, you know, maybe once or twice a week. I wish I could go in five times a week or seven times a week. It's not that expensive. It's it's about 500 pesos, about 10 bucks or 450, 450 pesos plus a 50, 50 peso tip or whatever, unless you want to get more. But it, it's, it's about 10 bucks, we'll say, for an hour and a half, okay, to, to get your massage. And that's, that's, a, that's a really, really good deal. You know, you're not going to get that in the United States. You pay anywhere from 95 to 100 to 160 to 200 for an hour and a half massage, you know, or hour massage. It's expensive. It's not cheap. But anyway, guys, I want to throw that out there, you know, about massages. And guys, let me tell you something. A lot of you guys have been writing to me about whether all the massages are legit here. Most of them are. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care.